shin splints, rolled ankles, tight hamstrings, bad knees. These are all things you hear people complain about when it comes to sports, especially football, myself included. When I first started playing football, I was told that this is just part of it, which didn't really bode well with me because I thought, am I going to have to tolerate this forever and it's just going to ruin me enjoying football. I don't want to play a sport that's actually going to do my legs in. So I took what I learned from knees over toes guy and applied those principles to working from the ground up to really strengthen all the muscles, tendons, ligaments from my feet, ankles, knees, all the way up to my hips. So what I'm doing here with the sled is you control the amount of force that is acting on your feet, your knees, where you haven't got something bearing down on you which could potentially injure you. So when you do something like pulling the sled back or pushing it forward, the faster you go, the more it gets you. It gets really good blood flow to these areas and can set you up for a great leg workout. So you might notice as well, I'm actually wearing football boots here. I'm trying to wear them in. Now I play football on turf and these are just turf sort of tread boots. I actually found that the least amount of footwear you can wear, i.e the freest footwear where your feet can move as naturally as possible are the best because I wore nine pound Primark trainers and they were way better than using these turf boots. But that's just me and it can depend on how you play. But I stopped rolling my ankle once I used these less grippy trainers. So again, pushing the sled gets great blood flow, really helps fix the knees. And this is just more of an improved version for someone who is a little bit less novice or for someone who has a little bit less knee, knee pain or ankle pain, the split squat here, it's lengthening that hip flexor on the back leg and it's strengthening it as you go through the range of motion. It's really working that VMO muscle, which is that teardrop looking muscle just above your knee on your quad. And that's your fast switch muscle. So that's the muscle that you want to be strong to react to fast paced sports like football. Again, all of these workouts is to stretch and strengthen on the way up. Because coming up next is a Romanian deadlift. Now, the difference with a Romanian deadlift to a deadlift is just that you don't actually touch the ground at the bottom. You don't give it a chance to rest because what I'm doing here on the down is stretching out my hamstrings all up the back of my legs right there and strengthening them as I pull up the weight. Really important one for me because my hamstrings and hips are super tight and this really gets them and also helps improve the lower back health. And this final one, someone actually asked me once I finished filming this, you went, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> and this is to strengthen and stretch the ankle and the foot and all up the shin or the tibialis. And this was a super important one for me. On that way up, it burns doing about 10 reps, but it stretches it all the way out. This stops me rolling my ankle and getting shin splints. Try these out before you do any football next time.